araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Father Angelo Pado Aspera ng Society of St. Paul. Sa ngalan po ng St. Paul's Publishing na binubuo ng mga pari at brothers ng Society of St. Paul, gayon din ang mga lay collaborators, ipinapabot ko po ang tauspusong pasasalamat sa inyong pagtangkilik at suporta. Makakaasa po kayo sa aming pagdarasal at pagmimisa para sa inyong kaligtasan at kalusugan. Naway mapagwagian po natin itong COVID-19 pandemic sa pamamagitan ng pagpapala ng Diyos at ng ating pagkakaisa. Malaki po ang naidulot na pagbabago ng COVID-19 sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay. Kami rin po sa St. Paul's ay dama ang epekto ng pandemic, kaya naman kinakailangan naming pansamantalang limitahan ang operasyon sa aming publishing office at bookstore sa mga malls. Sa kabila ng krisis na pinagdaraanan natin ngayon, tuloy pa rin po ang misyon ng St. Paul's na ipalaganap ang mabuting balita sa pamamagitan ng aming online o digital ministry. Sabi nga ni Apostol San Pablo, hindi maigagapos ang salita ng Diyos. Totoo po yun, hindi maikwa-quarantine ang mabuting balita. Kaya naman patuloy ang St. Paul's sa pagpapalaganap nito sa pamamagitan ng social media. Una po, anjaan ang Sambuhay Daily and Sunday TV Mass na mapapanood nyo via YouTube at Facebook na prinudu sa Sanctuary of St. Paul, Makati at sa aming parokya sa Our Lady of Sorrows, Pasay. Ikalawa po ang aming online St. Paul National Bible Quiz na ngayon ay nasa ikalabing isang taon na. Mapapanood niyo ang Dear Pablito sa Facebook na kinatatampukan ng mga kwento kung paanong binago o patuloy na ginagabayan ng salita ng Diyos ang buhay ng mga tao, lalong-lalo na ng mga kabataan. Siyempre, mapapanood niyo rin po sa Facebook ang pagkagising sa umaga. Ito ho yung mga pang-araw-araw na pagninilay ng Kura Paroko ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish na si Father Domi Guzman. Gayun din, ang mga programang Sambuhay Interactive Online at Sunset Sunrise, mga pag-uusap ukol sa pananampalataya at mga pampag-good vibes sa mga panahon ngayon. Mga kapatid, madadownload nyo rin po ang Sambuhay Misalet na gabay sa misa tuwing linggo. Bisitahin nyo lamang po ang Facebook page ng Sambuhay Misalet. Abangan nyo rin po ang digital version ng best-selling Bible Diaries na 365 Days with the Lord, Simbahay, K Plus Word, gayon din ang Catholic Mass Media Awards, Best Youth Magazine na Youngster, at Halo at ang Pandasal. Maaari rin po kayo mag-order ng mga libro o mga religious products sa St. Paul's Online. Mga kapatid, Panatilihin po natin ang matibay na pananampalataya sa Diyos. Kaya naman hayaan ninyo pong gabayan namin kayo online at inaasahan rin namin ang inyong suporta upang maipagpatuloy ang misyon na ito. Sa mga nais pong tumulong, narito po ang aming contact details para sa aming online o digital ministry. Maraming maraming salamat po. Pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon. All for the Gospel.
Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Streaming live from the Sanctuary of St. Paul the Apostle. The priests and brothers of the Society of St. Paul offer this Mass for all your intentions. Special intentions of Pope Francis, our Superior General, Father Valir Jose de Castro, SSP. For the safety and protection of all doctors, nurses, health workers, medical practitioners, especially from Tagaytay Medical Center, and all frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. For all intentions offered to Sambuhay TV Mass. Special intentions also of Richard Ebron and family. Birthday and Thanksgiving of Sister Noelle Ledesma, PDDM, Sister Stephanie, PDDM, Aniedo, Ivan, Kendrid Mirasol, Virgilio de Guzman Jr., Catherine Formoso, Alfred Joven, Cherry Chua, Arturo Ramos, Annabel V. Gedang, Maria Emida A. Martinez, Paolo Janine Arandil, Brad Reines, Jed Martin Reines, Charmaine Faith Reines, Stephanie May Reines, Tote Reines, and Alin Golfo. Thanksgiving of George and Josie Santa Maria of their 62nd wedding anniversary. Safety and protection of doctors Eleanor Villaflor and Vicky Ong and the doctors and nurses and staff of Villaflor Clinic. Healing and recovery of Joy Carrie Davis, Erwin and Marites Gastala, Herbert Garong, Lorna De Young, Rosenda Ilot, Maricel and Christian Del Castillo, Jeremy Cumboy, Mariflor Santiago, Dr. Cecilia Cheng Santos and family, Jane Ong and family, Cindy Ejercito and family, Remedios G. Herrera, Sister Lilian Coramfing, FMM, and those who are co and those who are infected with COVID-19. We also pray for the following souls. Leti Piansay, Monsignor Ray Agaragamon, Stu Schneider, Apolonia Reines, Sarah Jane Cass, Ted Grande, Anatolia Anishado, Manuel Baldazar, Ana Jose Imperial, Dr. David Jonathan Pagaduan, Rosario Santiliches, Rosemary Morales Bacho, Francello Marie Javier, Father Gilbert Luis Centinia OSA, Francello Marie Javier, Emiliano Alcozira, Dr. Ignacio Samala, Father Jesse Gilirigan Jr., Jericho Noel Olindan, Joe Marang, Carlo Raimundo, Rosa Marina Karam Ant Tonino, Ricardo M. Marquez, Lerma Cadayona, Sister Teofila Vioto PDDM, Sister Bernarda Barrera PDDM, Ulysses Tigpos, Margarita Sinoy, Marina Ansay, Grace Pacheco, Lilita Umaklab, Milagros Pacheco, Cherish Ann Umaklab, Armelo Cambial, Villarva Tayag, Emeline Empalmado, Torino Breeze, and all those in purgatory, especially those who have died because of COVID-19, and those who are enrolled in St. Paul Mass Association.
name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, dear friends in Christ, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Almighty and ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for, for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, 
samahan niya sa tuwing nalanda. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that free from sin we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you have gone astray like sheep. But you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, Alleluia.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice. As the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out, when he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize that he was trying what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly the gospel of our lord praise to you lord jesus christ una po sa lahat mga kasambuhay mga masugid na taga subaybay ng sambuhay tv mas ipinaabot namin sa inyo ang aming taos-posong pangongumusta at paghahangad na sana kayo po ay nasa mabuting kalagayan sa gitna ng ating pinagdadaanan. Binabati din namin ang aming kapamilya, ang mga pastorella sisters from the Sisters of Jesus the Good Shepherd. Kapistahan po nila ngayon. Binabati ang bawat isa. Tayo po ay nasa ikaapat na linggo ng pagdiriwang natin ng muling pagkabuhay ng ating Panginoon. At nasa halos Uh, pang, pang anim na linggo na tayo ng ating lockdown. At sa panahong ito ng ating pagdiriwang ng muling pagkabuhay, narinig po natin ang iba't ibang pahayag ng ating mahal na Panginoon tungkol sa Kanyang sarili. Ipinahayag ng ating mahal na Panginoon, Ako ang pagkabuhay at ang buhay. I am the resurrection and the life. Ipinahayag din ni Kristo, Ako ang liwanag ng daigdig. I am the light of the world. Ipinahayag din niya sa itong linggong ito sa ating pagbasa, lalo na ang Ebanghelyo, I am the bread of life, ang tinapay ng buhay. At ngayon sa ikaapat na linggo ng ating pagdiriwang, ipinahayag ng ating mahal na Panginoon na siya ang mabuting pastol, ang mabuting daan, o ang pinto sa magandang buhay. Mga kasambuhay, meron po tayong mga larawan na nagpapahayag si Jesus ang mabuting pastol. Meron po tayong larawan na ang ating Panginoon ay may karga-karga na tupa sa kanyang balikat at kasunod ang marami niya ang maraming mga tupa. Mapapansin po natin dito ang isang, isang magandang larawan ni Jesus 
ang mabuting pastol, hawak-hawak, at karga-karga ang itim na tupa. Ayon po sa aming artist na si Father Armand Tangi, ang kanyang titulo dito, Black is Beautiful. Sa dalawang larawan, isa lamang po ang ipinapahayag. Bakit karga-karga ni Jesus mabuting pastol ang tupa? Samantalang kung natagpuan man ang nawawalang tupa at kasama na ng karamihan, pwede namang hindi niya kargahin. Very dramatic at napaka makapangyarihan ang ipinapahayag na mensahe ng ating mahal na Panginoon na karga-karga niya ang tupa sapagkat malamang ang tupa'y naligaw ng landas malamang ang tupa ay gutom at payat na payat malamang ang tupa ay pilay o may, may, may sakit sa mga paa malamang ang tupang ito ay hindi makalakad sa kanyang sariling paraan. Kailangan niyang tulungan, kaya siya ay karga-karga o kalong-kalong ng tagapag-alaga ng mabuting pastor. At mga minamahal, ano ba naman ang isang tupa na mawala kung daan o libo ang mga alaga? Di po ba? Ano naman ang kawalan ng isa? Hindi kawalan ng isa. total marami naman. Daan-daan at baka libo pa ang natitira. E kung mawala yung isa, hindi napakalaking kawalan. Dahil marami pang iba. Subalit, ang mabuting pastol, naghanap. Naghanap at hindi tumigil ang paghanap hanggat hindi nakikita ang nawawalang tuka. Mahalaga sa pastol ang kanyang maraming inaalagaan. Mahalaga din sa kanya ang isang nawawala. At para sa kanya, napakahalagang ito'y kanyang matagpuan. At nang ito'y kanyang matagpuan, kanya kinalong, kinarga, at inilagay sa balikat pagkat ito ang, sit- ang kailangan niya gawin dito sa nawalang tupa. Very powerful, very meaningful ang mensahe sa ating lahat. Tao tayo, mga minamahal, kakambal natin ang ating kahinaan, ang ating karupukan. Tayo'y nagkakamali, tayo'y nagkakasala, tayo'y naliligaw ng landas, tayo po ay napupunta sa hindi magandang buhay. At tayo ay pilit na hinahanap ng Panginoong mabuting pastor. At hindi siya tumitigil hanggat hindi niya tayo natatagpuan. At kung tayo matagpuan ng ating mahal na Panginoon, anong tuwa at ligaya ang kanyang taglay? Kanya tayong kinakarga, kanya tayong kinakalong, pagkat iyon ang kailangan. Mula sa ating pagkaligaw ng landas, Maaari sa mga mabibigat at matitinding pagsubok ng ating buhay, wala na tayong lakas, naubos na ang ating lakas at hindi na natin kayang tumayo pang muli, mag-move on at magsimulang muli ng panibagong buhay. At yan ang papel ng Panginoong Yesus bilang mabuting pastol. Tayo'y kanyang kakargahin, kakalungin, tayo kanyang aalagaan upang maibalik muli tayo sa tama at maayos na takbo ng buhay. Kaya ang ating mahal na Panginoon ang nag-iisang mabuting pastol ng ating buhay. At ang isa pang magandang larawan ng mabuting pastol, mga minamahal, yung po bang Pastol na kumakatok sa pintuan. Pero mapapansin nyo sa pintuan, wala siyang lock, wala siyang siradura. Sa mga unang panahon, sa mga hudyo, wala pa pong mga lock at siradura. Ang kanilang uh, 
tinatawag na lak ay isang pahalang na kahoy na ikinakabit sa loob ng pinto. At walang sino mang makapapasok sa loob kung hindi tatanggalin ang nakahalang na kahoy. Kahit patuloy na nagkakakatok, na nagkakakatok, ang sino man, hindi siya makapapasok hanggat hindi inaalis ang kahoy na nakahalang at nagiging hadlang para mabuksan ang pintuan. Ang mabuting pastol ng ating buhay na si Jesus, patuloy na kumakatok sa puso ng bawat isa sa atin. Tumatawag at nagaanyayang buksan ng ating puso, hayaang siyang makapasok upang maging mabuting pastol ng ating buhay. Mga minamahal, iba po ang ating pinagdadaanan sa kasalukuyan. Buhay ang nakataya ngayon sa tinatawag na ating lockdown period. Kung hindi tayo mag-iingat, malamang na tayo madisgrasya sa panahong ito. Buhay ang tinatarget ng COVID-19. Marami nang nasawi, marami nang namatay. Kaya kailangan pangahal, pahalagahan at pangalagaan natin ang ating buhay. Gagawin natin ang lahat ng ating makakaya at dapat gawin. Pero kailangan pa rin natin ng Jesus ang mabuting pastol ng ating buhay upang pangalagaan ang ating buhay at kalagayan. At mga minamahal at mga kasambuhay sa personal na buhay, marami pong bagay dito sa mundo ang magiging hadlang at dahilan upang tayo malayo sa Panginoon at maligaw ng landas. Iba na mga kapanalig, mga kasambuhay, ang mundo na ating ginagalawan. Madali tayong magkasala ngayon. Alam nyo yan. Alam nating lahat. Ang tukso ay naglipa na sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo na ating ginagalawan. Madali na tayong magkasala. Maraming kumukuha ng ating atensyon upang ilayo ang ating atensyon mula sa Panginoon. Madali tayong malaglag madali tayong mahulog ngayon sa kasalukuyan. Kaya kinakailangan andito ang ating mahal na Panginoon, ang mabuting pastol na mga ngalaga sa atin, na kung sakaling tayo man ay maligaw ng landas, may Panginoon na aakay sa bawat isa patungo sa tamang landas ng buhay. Ang pinakamasakit at ang pinakamalungkot na kabanata na mangyayari sa buhay ng isang tao ngayon. Kung siya'y maligaw ng landas, malamang hindi na niya matagpuan ang tamang daang pabalik sa kabutihan at sa dating maayos na buhay. Ito ang nakakatakot. Kung maligaw tayo, baka hindi na tayo makabalik. At ito ang papel ni Jesus, ang mabuting pastol ng ating buhay. Mahalaga tayo sa Kanya ang pagmamalasakit niya ay hindi natin kayang sukatin. Gagawa at gagawa ang Panginoon ng paraan upang masiguro ang ating kaligtasan. Sa ating kapakanan, kailangan bigyan natin ang ating mahal na Panginoon ng pagkakataon. Buksan ang ating puso, ang ating pagkatao upang makapasok at maging mabuting pastol si Jesus sa ating buhay. Kaya mga kasambuhay at mga kapanalig, sa pagpapatuloy po ng ating banal na misa, dalawa lang po ang, ang paalala. Mahalaga ang bawat isa sa Panginoon. At ang malasakit ng Panginoon sa atin ay hindi natin masusukat. Ang dodoon pa rin sa puso ng ating Panginoon, ang paghahangad na tayo malagay sa mabuting kalig- kalagayan at masiguro ang ating kaligtasan. Pangalawa, huwag po tayong magmamarunong, huwag po tayong magmamalaki, huwag tayong magsasarili. 
pagkat hindi natin mapagkakatiwalaan ang ating sarili. Kailangan natin ang Panginoon sa ating buhay. Ang mabuting pastol upang tayo gabayan at akayin sa tamang landas ng buhay. Amen. We now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray to God our Father that He may take care of us and raise up good shepherds to tend the people of God. Let us pray, Lord, Lord listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May our Holy Father Francis and church leaders continue to be true shepherds, leading their flocks to good pastures. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Like Jesus, the good shepherd who loved and died for his people, may our political and civil leaders govern in such a way that our time, marked by many signs of violence and death, may see the establishment of peace and a culture of life. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May young people, following the good examples of their elders, take their place in society with a sense of responsibility, service, and respect for the dignity of each person. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Today, World Day of Prayer for Vocations, we pray that there be more young men and women who respond to God's call to the priesthood and consecrated life and give themselves totally to the cause of the kingdom. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May those who are sick and at the moment of death receive the comfort of the Lord so that they may not fear but hold on to the good shepherd who died to give life to all of us. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. Almighty Father, grant us the desire to serve our brothers and sisters so that when our chief shepherd, Jesus, appear, we shall receive the unfading crown of glory. We ask this of you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the, the merciful Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them out to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Jesus our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory. For this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world bring her to the fullness of charity Together with Francis, our Pope, 
Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Paul, and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And of Jesus our Lord and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold Jesus our Lord, the good shepherd of our life. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my, and soul, my soul shall be shall healed. Be. Prayer During Communion For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me, I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the most precious blood of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Emperata, together we pray. God, our Father, we come, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for the disease and stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. We pray, we pray for, for those afflicted. afflicted. May, May they be restored, restored to health soon. soon. Protect those who care, care for, for them. them. Grant eternal, eternal rest to those who have died. died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen.
Our Lady, Help of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing and protection. O Lord our God, keep your family safe, we pray, and grant them the abundance of your mercies, that they may find growth through the teachings and the gifts of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty, our merciful and loving God, bless and protect you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace, love, and service of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you for celebrating the Eucharist with us. May you have a blessed day ahead. God bless you all. We now invite you to pray with us our devotional prayers. Invocations to Jesus Master Jesus Master, sanctify my mind and increase my faith. Jesus, teaching in the church, Draw everyone to your school. Jesus, Master, deliver me from error, from vain thoughts, and from eternal darkness. Jesus, way between the Father and us, I offer you all and await all from you. Jesus, way of sanctity, make me your faithful imitator. Jesus, way, render me perfect as the Father who is in heaven. Jesus, life, live in me so that I may live in you. Jesus, life, do not permit me to separate myself from you. Jesus, life, grant that I may live eternally in the joy of your love. Jesus, truth, may I be light for the world. Jesus, way, may I be example and model for souls. Jesus, life, May my presence bring grace and consolation everywhere. Amen. Prayer to the Sacred Heart Jesus, Divine Master, I thank and bless your most lovable heart for the great gift of the Holy Eucharist. Your love makes you dwell in the Holy Tabernacle. Renew your passion in the Mass and give yourself as food for our souls in Holy Communion. May I know you, hidden God. May I draw salutary waters from the font of your heart. Grant me the grace to visit you every day in this sacrament, to understand and actively participate in Holy Mass, to receive Holy Communion often with faith and love. Sweetheart of my Jesus, Make me love you more and more. Saint Joseph, we venerate you as the model of laborers, the friend of the poor, the consoler of the afflicted, 
and those forced to leave their own land, the saint of divine providence. On earth, you represented the universal goodness and concern of the Heavenly Father. You were the carpenter of Nazareth and work teacher to the Son of God, who became a humble laborer for us. Assist with your prayers all who labor in intellectual, moral, and material work. For the nations, obtain legislation inspired by the gospel, the spirit of Christian charity, a way of governing in accord with justice and peace. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us.